So in the last session, we completed till platy element this. Okay, Sujai, it was easy, ma'am. <laughs> and Rashmi, na? Yaratu. Rashmi, yeah. So she also shared her experience with the midterm question paper. Pretty good. Fine. So when the results are announced, please don't forget uh, to message me regarding your marks. Okay. So in the last session, we were discussing regarding the Ascalmanthus. Then today we will focus on Ascalmanthus and the orthropods. We will go slowly and will grab more knowledge. Okay. So Ascalmanthus and Tandreno. So we will not forget so these are also called as thread worms atwa round worms and takaritara thread and dara. Because when you see the structure of it, guys, you can just see yella examples and atwa yella pictures and an you know the name garthagata makle. So you'll know they are very thin alva. They are just a thread like. See the structure. That is why they are termed as thread worms or the round worms. When we come to the general characteristics of it, just a minute. <clears throat> yeah. So these are triploblastic. Triploblastic means three germinal layers, outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, inner endoderm. Next, pseudocelomates. Walagade one the cavity ide antansate, but irodilla. Atwa. So other case pseudocelomates. Cavity and rithia jaganta. With organ system grade of body organization. Illinavu organ systems and the Organ and like what we can say, lungs, eyes. It is organ, not tissue or a cell. Jeeva kosha galu, angamsha galu, level na now nil nodo dila. Aquatic or terrestrial and free living or parasitic form. Idu neeral lo irbaudu, land me lo irbaudu, free living. It can live by itself. Sometimes most of the examples are parasites. Andre paravalambi. They live in other organisms. Next, most of them are microscopic with an elongated body which is pointed at both ends. Most of the examples in Dascalmentus though, these are microscopic andre. We cannot see with our naked or the uh, natural eyes. We should use a microscope. Anterior end carries mouth and sense organs but without distinct head. So, yeradu kade il niu nodar The first example, first image anna nodi. So, the body is thread-like and when you observe both the ends, both the ends are pointed. So, anterior end and the front end, the front end will be carrying a small mouth, a small mouth-like structure and the sense organs. And Only a simple structure these ascalmentus will be having. Let us proceed further. Mm, yeah. So, when we come to the body, the body of these Ascalmanthus will be covered by just a minute. Fine. So the body is covered by a thick cuticle, a substance which is a thick cuticle. Body wall has a cellular epidermis and a longitudinal muscles. So when we consider the body wall, the body layer and the inhale TV, so that body wall will be having cellular and the cell ulla epidermis outer layer is cellular alirate, cells gal in the mada dagirate longitudinal muscles gal tavante cilia and the hair like structures will be absent there cavity between body wall and viscera is not a true coelom and is not avagle hel dage these are what pseudo coelomates anta karitebe here it is lined by mesoderm, hence called as pseudocelom. Ille nagarate body wall matte valagina cavity naduve yaude rithia space irodilla. Andre true space irodilla, but somewhere when this patch is galirta, kelondu kade, idu mesoderm in the surround agarate, even the space. Mesoderm and no layer in the kelondu is to kade matra wu lining anak torus tairate. That is why this is termed as pseudocelom. Andre. Space iddu ilde iro hage. Okay. So, seedo seelom santa healthy. When we come to the digestive system, it is complete. Complete and reino. They will be having mouth to eat the food for the intake of the food. They will be having the ana to excrete the waste. So, two separate open, openings set the way. So, that is why the, we will call it as complete digestive system. Next, muscular pharynx, non-muscular intestine and anus. Intestine will be also present, 
which is not made up of muscles and the non muscular and no respiratory or circulatory system is observed in the ascalmanthus excretory system includes excretory system alle nirtave glandular organs athwa canals irtave illi flame cells annodu absent agirutte which we see in platyelmanthus mostly here the male and female will be different and mostly male will be smaller than a female so illi en irtave they will be dioecious andre sexes are separate male will be different female will be different so male will be quite smaller than the female gonoducts and gonads either paired or single gonoducts and the under sex organs of male and well as well as female so ivu en irtave andre these are either paired yerad irtave athava they will be single so how human beings have paired testes paired ovaries like that they might be paired or single so this is regarding a short concept of ascalmanthus when we come to the examples of the ascalmanthus guys so ill nodi ascaris anta round worm anta heltivi trichinella the trichy worm trichinella is a parasite idu kuda ondu parasite agide it is a parasite in a human being innondu idara visheshate andre it is vv paras adu yava organism alli iratto in which organism it lives in which organism which organisms nutrition it absorbs a host organism alle these will release or these will reproduce their uh, new uh, what we can say offsprings so vv paras moolaka andre ov paras la egg laying alla the new individual anna adara host organism alle release madutte that is trichinella species galu then we have ancyclostoma which is a hook worm ucheraria the fil filarial worm spinocordodes the hair worm so these all are the examples of ascalmanthus these all are the examples for ascalmanthus please note down fine uh fine let us proceed with some of the questions now after that we will discuss um, uh, sorry orthopoda is that one nimsha yes my dear youtube students elementus fine so the first question of today is here regarding ascalmanthus of cet questions fine let us proceed guys the first question is here simply nan hesar togobeku madam anta answer madu hagilla see to it understand it and then answer assertion ee reethi ide one statement ide ascalmanthus and annelids possess bilateral symmetry reason both ascalmanthus and annelids are coelomates anta ascalmanthus matte annelids alli bilateral symmetry anna northeve both ascalmanthus matte annelids coelomates agirodrinda avu bilaterally symmetrical ive anta heltidare so what is your opinion on this the options are ಎರಡು ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಕ್ಕೆ ರಿಲೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರುವ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಟು ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ದ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಂಡ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ನೋ ಯುವರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಚಾಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ Rashmi R answered it fine Priya good Sujai B then okay only three of them what about others what about others <coughs> be fast so here the right answer is option c both assertion and reason are true 
ಬಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸರ್ಷನ್ ಎರಡು ಟ್ರೂನೆ ಎರಡು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಚಾಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚಾಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಚಾಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೋರ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಚಾಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅಥವಾ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಅಂತ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಗೈಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಇದೆ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗಿವನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವ ಯಾವ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡುವ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿಯನ್ನ ವಿವಿಧವಾದಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯವನ್ನ ಮಾಡುವ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಅನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಕೊಯನೋಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಟರ್ಸ್ಟೀಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರೋಡರ್ಮಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಯಾಟೋಸಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಒಪಿನಿಯನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸುಜಯ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ yeah what about others <coughs> yeah ke bega answer maadi pa only sujay is answering all of them are sleeping here yes youtube students be fast be fast rashmi r answered it rashmi r answered it yes what about others matte see if you do like this you are wasting my time as well as your time guys do answer arpita is here archana is here chandan is here yamuna gauda is here priya is here yes do participate in the chat be fast so illi the right answer is interstitial cells and the coenocytes gastrodermal cells nematocysts have their specialized function guys the interstitial cells are no there ide one interstitial cells are found are also called as leydic cells in male reproductive system but illi ee concept ge relate madidre interstitial cells are the reserve cells anta kariteve so these reserve cells have a ability to differentiate into any type of the cells yavudhi reetiya cells aagi differentiate maarpaad agalu ee cells ge capacity irutte so the right answer is here option b i think it is correctly and quickly answered by no one okay so the right answer is here option b next question blood sucking leech is option a neeris option b hirude neeria option c ferretima option d all of these yes guys do respond to the questions be fast yeah yeah the quick answer is given by as usual sujay what about others yes what about others obobrina kela yes only sujay is answering what about others rashmi answered as option d okay all of these are blood sucking leech ke est ke hesare irutha amma <coughs> priya answered as option b okay good why yes my dear youtube students youtube students yaar idare okay so the right answer is here guys option b hirudinaria annodene irutte it is a scientific name of a blood sucking uh, leech okay very good responses from the youtube by mamata mamata is here good fine let us proceed further next question ee reethi ide which one of the following endoparasites out of humans the show vv parity vv parity means giving birth to young ones yava bandu endoparasite vv parity ana torusutte and cyclostoma duodenale enterobius spiralis trichinella spiralis 
asterisk lumbricoids. What is your opinion on this? Yes, the quick answer is given by Sujai. Okay, fine. What about others? Guys, what about others? Uh, yes, YouTube students, be fast. I'm waiting for your response too. Good. Priya answered it as option C. Good. So the right answer is here. Option C, Trichinella spiralis. While explaining the slides, Nan here there. Trichinella spiralis anno vandu parasite. It will be present in, I mean, it will be infecting the human being which has a capacity of VV parity anta. So while explaining the slides, please do focus and then answer the questions, guys. Next question. Choose the incorrect set with respect to orthropods. Mamata answered as option B from YouTube. Yes. Choose the incorrect set with respect to orthropods. Option A, Lumulus, Locusta, Culex. Option B, Bombyx, Epis, Lacifer. Option C, Pinctida, Aplysia, Dentalium. Option D, Aids, Anophilus, Epis. Orthropods, orthropods discuss madilla, but just try it later on. Uh, now, after this, I will explain orthropods. Even the question and a try martira. Very good, Mamata from YouTube answered as option C. Very quick response from the YouTube. Rashmi R from Zoom also answered it. Good going. So, option C and no do pink teda, aplysia, dentalium. These are the examples of molluscans. So, option C is a right answer here. Now, let us focus on orthropoda, guys. See, it already long back it is completed in the college. I don't know why you people are sitting silent and not in interacting. Please do interact. So, you will come to know what much, how much you are prepared. Okay. Let us come to the orthropods. So, when we come to the orthropods, where it leaves usually... The orthropods are found in ocean also, fresh water, land as well as air. So, these are usually uh, referred as largest kingdom. Okay. So, la sorry, largest phylum orthropods. Anta, because the whole whatever insects you see in the world, all the insects will come under this phylum. These are bilaterally symmetrical. Organ system level of organization we will see here. Triploblastic, three germinal layers and the segmented body. These, these are coelomates, means they have a true coelom. They have a body cavity. I'm sorry. And they will be having the outer skeleton, which is called exoskeleton. Anta. The exoskeleton is made up of a material which is called chitin. So the main function of chitin is protection from the external factors as well as it prevents the loss of water from the body of it prevents the loss of water from the orthropodans body Just a minute Ooh. fine so it prepares uh, it protects the body of the orthropods from the loss of water next when we come to its body how its body is divided so how we divide our body parts like head neck region right and abdominal region excretory region or the limbs like that so like that also uh, the orthropodans body will be divided into head thorax and abdominal and when you see all the insects when you see all the insects including housefly including mosquitoes so you can observe they will be having the jointed legs so, due to the presence of jointed legs only, we will call them as orthropods. Orthro means jointed. Next, when we come to the digestion, digestion ge bandaga, here they will be having two openings separately, that is uh, mouth as well as anus. That is why they will be having complete digestive system and the digestive system is extracellular, means the digestion happens outside the cell. When we come to the respiration, the respiration will be well developed in case of orthropods. The respiration in aquatic forms, under nearly jeevisua, 
ಈ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಗಳು ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಮೂಲಕ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಮೂ ಕಿವಿರುಗಳು ಅಂತ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಮೂಲಕ ಉಸಿರಾಡಿಸ್ತಾವೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಟೆರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ಯು ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಉಸಿರಾಡಿಸ್ತಾವೆ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟೆ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ಟೆರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ಲೇ ಇರುವ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೆಲದ ಮೇಲೆ ವಾಸಿಸುವ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ಪಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಪೈಡರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬುಕ್ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಟ್ರೇಕಿಯಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅವರ್ ಟ್ರೇಕಿಯಾ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೇಕಿಯಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಾಕ್ರೋಚ್ ಬಟರ್ಫ್ಲೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಸ್ಕಿಟೋ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯಾ ಸಿ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮನೆಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಐಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಯಾ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಫೈನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹೆಡ್ ರೀಜನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಕ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಅಬ್ಡಾಮಿನಲ್ ರೀಜನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಕ್ ರೀಜನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸ್ಪೈರಾಕಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸ್ಪೈರಾಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆಂಟೆನ ಥೊರಾಕ್ಸ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಅಬ್ಡಾಮಿನಲ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಲಿಮಿಲಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಲೀಸ್ ಅ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಗಿಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೆನಿ when the book gills will be many it forms book lungs so this is a book lung in a this one scorpio illi kelagade iro image en torustha ide it is showing book lungs book lungs in the scorpio see here this is one 2 3 4 book lungs hmm? next next when we come to the circulatory system here the circulatory system will be open type means they don't have a specialized blood vessels here for the flow of a blood and blood is colorless and it is called as hemolymph blood ge hemolymph anta karitare when we come to the sensory system sensory systems athwa sensory organs gale en irtave i don't know why some of the people will just leave in the middle and go out of the session arpita priya sujay rashmi and yamuna chandan left b gauda left <laughs> great fine so here when we come to the arthropod sense organs ge bandaga we have three they will be having three sense organs guys the first one is antennae meese thara iratala ee reeti then eyes then statocyst anta antennae annodana you can see in this image just a minute yeah this is what you are seeing na this one so this is a antenna so what is the function of this antennae it helps it acts as a or it receives the touch and the smell other they know andre it sends the touch and the smell next when we come to the eyes eyes will be two type simple matte compound anta so compound andre in compound type of eyes the insects which have compound type of eyes so that insect can distinguish can differentiate between dim light and bright light so that insect will be there na like it can differentiate between dim light and the bright light that is the speciality of compound eyes anta okay so this is one of the sense uh, sensory system which includes in a sensory system the last one is statocyst anta barutte which is found in aquatic arthropods aquatic arthropods al kan sigutte it provides information about change in position ಆ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ನ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗೋದರ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬ್ರೇನಿಗೆ ತಲುಪಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೆಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಟು ಮೆಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟೋಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ
So the excretory system is made up of or having certain specialized tubules which are called as malpighian tubules. Anta. When we come to the reproductive system, sexes will be separate. So that is why we will say dioecious. And these are oviparous, means egg-laying animals or the insects, except Scorpio because Scorpio is viviparous. So when we consider the fertilization, here fertilization will be internal inside the body. The fusion of male and the female gamete occurs inside the body, especially on the terrestrial arthropods. Development will be indirect, sorry, direct or indirect. Most of the cases are indirect. They will pass through certain larval stages. So you can see the indirect development in Anopheles mosquito species, Bombyx mori, <clears throat> as well as this diptera, what we can call the housefly. No, it is a diptera. So this is regarding the general characteristics of orthropods, guys. Yeah, see here, this is a Malphigian corpus. Calcido, a digestive elementary canal and a dissect maadi. Togondiro image agida, downloaded image do. So here you can see the Malphigian corpus kills and in this image you can see, yeah, see in this lobster anodu. So lobster anodu, aquatic uh, this one, orthropod. So it is statocystic at the E region only. Fine. And here in this image you can just glance how the compound eyes will be. So this is a compound eye. Fine. So this is regarding the general characteristics of orthropods. I hope it is clear, guys. Clear, I tell Rigo. Just to say yes, no, something in the chat box. Yes, YouTube students, what about Mamata? And still two students are here. I don't know the name. Priya agreed. Rashmi agreed. Okay, guys. So let us proceed with the questions now related to orthropods so one the question agi there okay mm -hmm. so next one is here just a minute okay balancing organ of aquatic orthropods is Aquatic orthropods are balancing organ. Nidoblasts, coenocytes, scleroblasts, satosis. The quick answer is given by Yamuna Gauda. Great. Priya, good. Rashmi, good. Yeah. What about others? Yes, YouTube students. Fine, guys. Very good. So, the right answer is your statocysta noduk sariyada uttara. Next, consider the following statements. Kelagido images bagge iruva statements. Ibella images. So, Scorpio, lobster, octopus, as well as this is starfish. Okay. So, in the first one statement, the open circulatory system is found in most of the orthropods. Orthropods contain hemolymph, that blood of the orthropod is called hemolymph which directly baths its internal tissues and organs. So, two statements are given. Out of two statements, what is the relation? I mean, which statement is correct? Which statement is false? A, one is true, two is false. B, one is false, two is true. C, both one and two are true. D, both one and true are false. The quick answer is given by Sujai B. Okay, good. What about others? Mamata from YouTube answered it good. Yamuna Gaud answered it as option A. Rashmi R answered it as option C. Good going. So let us proceed further. What is the right answer here? Option C. Yeradu statements kuda true agi there. Okay na. Next. Molting. Molting is also called as ecdysis occurs to shed chitin at regular intervals by many orthropods. It is the shedding of cuticle in many invertebrates. D, all of these. Molting is also called as ecdysis. B, occurs to shed chitin at regular intervals by many orthropods. 
it is the shedding of cuticle in many vertebrates d all of this yes mamata from youtube mamata answered it sujay b answered it okay priya answered it rashmi answered it so the right answer is here option d it is also called ecdysis it occurs shed chitin at regular intervals by many arthropods shedding of cuticle in many invertebrates and no do more statements correct agide so the right answer is here option d the correctly answered by sujay correctly answered by sujay okay hema patil from youtube also voted as option d anta good going now let us proceed with the uh, next file just a minute i will share the information just a minute okay whether the screen is visible guys now it will be visible fine so the next one is yeah okay the next phylum which we are going to discuss is mollusca so this is the second largest animal phylum it will be also having it is also triploblastic coelomate it will be having true body cavity bilaterally symmetrical you can see terrestrial as well as aquatic forms here will be here the body will be surrounded ee ondu body ge calcareous shell andre calcium in the maadiruva shell idu ee body ana cover maadirutte expect slugs matte octopus anna bitto most of the forms will be having calcareous shell okay so internal shell andre body walagade kuda one shell irutte sipia annu example alli we can see or we can observe internal shell next when we consider the body here the body will be unsegmented here there will be no segmented body as head thorax abdomen and the sorry unsegmented segments irodilla but the body will be div uh, divided into thorax matte abdomen irodilla only the head and it will be having a muscular foot kelagade muscular foot irutte and dorsal visceral hump skin over visceral hump form a mantle that shell okay so illi visceral hump anta ee reeti utkondiro ubbiro one structure kanasutte adar mele skin will be folded so that structure is called as mantle uh, respiratory and excretory organs will be the gills which are present below the mantle because most of these will be aquatic usually next uh, when we observe the head head will be having the tentacles mouth will be having the rasping organ then these are usually oviparous egg laying animals 
when we consider the larva the larva are usually named as trochoplate or velga when we see to the examples the examples here are pila that is apple snail pink teda pearl oyster sepia cuttlefish loligo squid octopus devil fish we will call octopus as devil fish see this is a ventral visceral food mantle holdings all right shell calcareous shell Mm. Dentalium, chiton, octopus, sepia, land snail, pearl oyster, unio, right, limnea. Fine. So you can see the things here. When we come to the phylum Echinodermata, so here the phylum Echinodermata will be having. Uh, spores, I mean spines, mullinthara structures irtave on its outer layer. So ectoderm bare spines, these are usually marine habitat. They will live in a salt water. Triploblastic, they will be having three germinal layers. They have the coelom or a body cavity, hence regarded as coelomates. Here, these are usually radially symmetrical irtave. Here, the body part will be divided into five x's and the body part to either plane only now divide more both and so it is called pentamerous radial symmetry larvae will be bilaterally symmetrical interesting exoskeleton only calcareous shell irate which will be having a plate like structure a plate like structures gave we will call it as ossicles mouth will be there on the lower side Anus will appear on the upper side. The speciality of echinoderms. Next, here water vascular system will be present, which will be usually seen in a starfish. Radiating tube-like appendages called tube feet functions is locomotion, capturing food and respiration. I will show in the image. A nerve ring will be present. Then sexes will be separate. They will be having five pair of sex organs. Fertilization will be usually external. And these will develop indirectly by releasing free swimming larva. Examples are asterisk, starfish, echinus, sea urchin, antedon, sea lily, cucumeria, sea cucumber, ophiura, brittle star. Fine. See, this is a water vascular system. What you will see? Central ring canal. Hmm? Uh, then, tube feet you are seeing here. Radial canal. Okay, for water vascular system. Stomach. Digestive glands. This small, whatever you are seeing now, these are digestive glands. Sea star. Brittle star. Sea urchin. Feather star. Sea cucumber, sea daisy, etc. Okay, phylum hemichordata. Let us solve some questions now. Animal kingdom. Animal kingdom. Okay. Just a minute. So it is overall uh, multiple choice questions on animal kingdom. Go on answering. We will discuss regarding the questions of echinodermates too. So a chordate character as it this chapter is already completed. We will concentrate on these questions like a chordate character is postanal tail, gills, spiracles, none of these. What is your response in it? Chordate character yaudu kelage kottiruva options alli. Chordate in a character, Renu. Yes, my dear YouTube students, be fast. Okay. 
very good i got four responses very quick responses fine mm, just a minute rashmi yamuna gauda priya suchai okay all of them answered it correctly most of them answered it correctly few of them got confused so the right answer is here option a post annual tail next question which one of the following pairs of animals comprises jawless fishes kelagari kottiruva yava examples alli you can find jawless fishes lampreys and hat fishes guppies and hat fishes lampreys and eels mackerels and rohu what is your response on it yeah yes youtube students kelege kottiruva yava examples peru jawless fish anna hondide rashmi r answered it yes youtube students what about others tapp helidre yaru bayalla illi just try sujay b answered it good bega fine so the fight is between a and d right so the right uh, right answer is here option d next leeches option a both d sanguivorous c ectoparasite d none of these leech annode enide both sanguivorous and both b and c aagbeku illi options alli idu both b and c aagutte option b sanguivorous aagutte c ectoparasite d none of these ante yes guys yes what is your answer sujay answered it rashmi r answered it yes youtube students Hema Patil and Mamata Mutt is here. Okay. So Yamuna Rashmi answered it. So the right answer is here. Option A, both A and B. Sorry, both B and C. Sanguivorous Mutt Ectoparasite. Next question. Which one of the following group of animals is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic? Kelagade Kottiruva Yava group bilaterally symmetrical mattu triploblastic agide askelmenthes cilentorates tenophores none of these yes youtube students the quick answer is given by yamuna gauda sujay b good what about others mamata from youtube answered it as b ansatte rashmi okay so most of you answered it as option b cilentorates anta heltidira the right answer is here option a askelmenthes askelmenthes alli when you just remember the round worms and all alli bilateral symmetrical irutte matte triploblastic irutte cilentorates is a diploblastic radial okay next question which of the following animal is cold blooded kelage kottiruva yava animal lo cold blooded ide and it will be having four chambered heart option a crocodile option b ornithorhynchus option c callotus option d none of these hema patil answered it as option a from the youtube good uh, yamuna gauda answered it quickly fine what about others uh rashmi r answer madidra ansatte so the right answer is here option a crocodile annodu sariyada uttara arpita also answered it good going next question goes like this guys which of the one of the following is not a characteristic of phylum annelida kelagade kottiruva yavudu 
എന്നിലീടാണ് ഗുണവല്ല ഓപ്ഷൻ എ സീഡോസീലോം ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി വെൻട്രൽ നെർവ് കോഡ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി സെഗ്മെന്റേഷൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ക്ലോസ്ഡ് സർക്കുലേറ്ററി സിസ്റ്റം ദ ക്വിക്ക് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഗിവൻ ബൈ സുജയ് ബി റഷ്മി ആർ ഗുഡ് ഗോയിങ് Yes, my dear YouTube students, Mamata answered it as option C. Uh, then, Rashmi R answered it as option A. So, let us check the answer. The right answer is option A. Pseudocelomate anodo. It is not a characteristic of phylum. Any lida. Next question. Which one of the following character is not a typical of the class mammalia? ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ್ದು ಮೆಮೇಲಿಯಾ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇಂದು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಂದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಟೆನ್ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೇನಿಯಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸರ್ವೈಕಲ್ ವರ್ಟಿಬ್ರೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಅಲ್ವಿಯೋಲಾರ್ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಥಿಕೋಡಂಟ್ ಡೆಂಟೀಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಟಿಪಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮಲ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಡೆಟ್ Yes, Mamata answered as option C in case of from YouTube. Sujai B answered it. The right answer is option A, 10 pairs of cranial nerves are known. Next question, which one of the following feature is possessed by crustaceans? Crustaceans, not by insects. Crustaceans are not by insects. Okay, two pairs of antenna, chitinous exoskeleton, bilateral symmetry, paired limbs. Priya answered it. Okay, Mamata from YouTube answered it as option A. Yamuna Gauda answered it as option D. So, let us consider... the right answer is here option a two pairs of antenna it is possessed by crustaceans but not by insects next question poison glands of snake are modified what parotids sublinguals linguals maxillaries e poison glands vishamashita glands so havina vishamashita glands so enadu modified part of what it is Okay, the quick answer is given by Priya. Mamata answered it as option C for the previous question. Yes, what about others? Priya asked to answer my daughter. Okay. So, the right answer is here option A that is parotid sannodu sariyada uttara. The adults are radially symmetrical, but larvae exhibit bilateral symmetry. So, E-Rethi character na nivu yava phylum mal nortira. Echinodermata, mollusca, hemichordata, cephalochordata. Priya answered it. Yamuna Gauda answered it. Rashmi answered it. Good. So, most of you answered it as option A. you answered mamata from youtube answered it as option d anta so let us check the answer the right answer is option a echinodermata the okay the next question here solenocytes and metanephridia are the excretory organs of solenocytes and metanephridia are the excretory organs of platyelminthes and annelida cilentarates and mollusca ascalminthes and annelida annelida and arthropods quickly answered by priya So, the right answer is here, option A, platy elementus and anilida. Okay, guys. So, in the next session, we will discuss regarding the chordata and their phylums and then we will wind up, the, wind up this lesson. Fine. 